guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori, and today I have a vlog starting for you. Super excited. Uh, but before we get started, I do have a little product to share with you, and I've shared this before. This is sponsored content, just so you know, it was mailed to me, but the opinions are my own. This is Teamy Greens. Now, because I don't get a lot of vegetables on my keto diet, this really helps supplement that. Um, and this is some caffeine, uh, plant-based caffeine in it as well. So it's a good thing, hi buddy, to start my day off. And there will be a coupon code down below if you'd like to try some of their products for yourself. Um, but this is um, 16 superfood ingredients, plant-based, vegan, GMO-free, gluten-free, dairy, and soy-free made without fillers or additives, no artificial flavors, no artificial colors, no artificial chemicals. So it's pretty natural. Just all the greens that you need to get your day going. Looks like that. Um, I recommend mixing it with a smoothie if you're not keto. Kind of makes it taste a little better. Gotta feed the boys. And I also need to make my coffee because I have to work here in just a few minutes. Right, and they're hungry. So it's Friday, and um, I've been working. This holiday has just, you know, been a normal holiday for me, but unfortunately in my life, this is the busiest time at my job. So we've been kind of scrambling between folks being off for the holidays. Oh, and I also splashed myself with water cleaning the kitchen this morning. Um, everybody trying to use their PTO up. Just busy. Busy, busy, busy. I worked last night till 8 o'clock. All right, buddy. Um, so I'm trying to get some work done. I'll probably work late again tonight. The good thing is, after the first of the year, it, def it definitely slows down. We hope for a few months we get a reprieve. So I feel like I'm going to the office because I'm putting my coffee in a thermal cup, but I don't have time to keep coming down and getting fresh. So this will keep it warm. This is a Contigo cup. I really like these and I got this for our trip that we didn't get to go on. Mine is green, Sarah's was gray, and I just thought it was festive. And this is actually bumpy. It's not just holographic. There's actual texture, which I like because it helps me hold. Not sponsored. Just love it. Um, yeah, so we'll get ourselves going here and then I will bring you along with my weekend to see what we get into because this week I did absolutely nothing but work. All right, guys, come back at you later. When the chunker wants breakfast. Morning. Hey guys, it's Lori. And right now I have been obsessed with a keto version of a um, Philly cheesesteak. So I thought I would show you how I've been making it. Don't mind the trash can. I have a Tupperware in there that I need to take out. So this is pretty easy on a winter's night. Um, I bought just roast beef lunch meat at Costco actually. Seasoned roast beef. This is just how I'm doing it because I'm not about cooking steaks and all that right now. It's, I'm hungry. This is just a quick dinner for me. I bought some uh, mushrooms at the Dollar Tree, chopped them up there and some butter and garlic. And then this is my keto rolls I made with you a couple weeks ago. And that's just butter with some real like crushed garlic on it. And I'm putting it in the pan. I'm going to toast it up just because why not? Isn't that fun? Oh, I need to get the mayonnaise out. So what I'm going to do is I am heating up this mushroom. It's just heating, basically. And then I took a piece of provolone cheese and chopped that up. And what I'm going to do is just kind of blend it all together. I'm going to heat it up. The cheese melted holds together the meat. And then when all that is warm, I'm going to slap this piece of provolone on top, put the top of the bread, and let it stick. But right now, I'm just heating up, browning the bread the bread and heating up the mushrooms and I gotta get the mayonnaise. Alrighty, Ooh, wrong light. So if you can see over here, it's just warm. It's heated up, 
I'm going to put it kind of in the shape of my sandwich. Like, you know, round it up in the middle, stack it up on top of each other so it doesn't overflow too much. I'm going to lay that on top. Then I'm taking the top bun, throwing some mayo on it because that's what I like. But if you don't like mayo, don't put it on there. Lay that on top, turn that off, take it off the burner. And I just let it sit and I let everything melt. If you're using a regular old hamburger bun, pieces of bread, toast, Texas toast, whatever it is you're using, same concept, same process. I just happen to be using some keto bread that I can have. This bread's a little softer. Ooh, I put it on a hot burner. So that's just, you know, how it works. But I want to let it sit here and melt, right? You really want that to melt the cheese, top and bottom. I'll move it a little before I typically would, but then I just take everything and I lay it right here. And then I have all this extra goodness. We will not let that go to waste. And then I want this to sit for a little bit. Again, it needs to sit up, let everything cool down a little bit because it's hot. And then I will cut it in half and have a sandwich. And that is how I make just a really super fast Philly cheesesteak sandwich. The only time really is letting it kind of melt and cool down. So when you go in to bite it, you don't burn your roof of your mouth and you also do not spill sandwich everywhere. So that is it. Next up, I might light a fire. Ooh, let's light a fire tonight. Yeah, we're gonna have, well, I don't know. I have some stuff to show you that I did, some DIYs. Here we go, guys. We're gonna finish off this vlog by putting this mess away and together. I got a gift card that actually I can't deal with right now, but this is my mess. So we're gonna sort and get everything under control. First things first, scissors. Always need the scissors. I ran into Target, um, like you do, right? Cause I do. Oh, we have coffee. Please don't worry. Mm. I don't remember what flavor that is. Creme brulee, maybe? I don't know. But I found this little Mandalorian bag. Um, I think I mentioned in another vlog, I'm going to a socially distance lunch with my coworkers, and one of them has a little boy, and he will be there. And so I picked up for him a Paw Patrol coloring book, some color forms. These are just from the Dollar Tree. But I thought they would be exciting for him to play with at the luncheon. Some Crayola, well, these are play school crayons, but these are the chunky ones, he's three. Some of this Rudolph snack mix, which I think he will enjoy. Then when I was at the dollar spot at Target, I found these little cars that like, they transform or something. I don't know what they do. We'll figure it out, but they do something, right? So I grabbed two of those for him to play with, plus their cars. And he's a little boy. And I think the last thing I got him was just some M&Ms. Well, these are, I don't know what they are, but they're pretend M&Ms. So that's done. Just a little gift to bring. We're all gonna be exchanging, or some of us will be exchanging gifts and that way he'll have something as well because I couldn't I couldn't handle that to be at a event and have a child there that doesn't get a gift. That that's not okay in my world. Call me crazy. All right. I did some personalizing today, so I want to show you. These little stockings came from the Dollar Tree. I got my cricket out. I just wrote her name. So these are my teen and tween cousins. And typically with these guys, we do a something together. We go somewhere, we do something, we've done the theater, we've done all kinds of things. But that's not gonna happen this year. So I got them each an Amazon gift card to spend as they will and a piece of candy. 
So I have that for them. Let me get rid of this one. And so I just personalized these little Dollar Tree stocking or Dollar Spot stockings from Target because I thought, you know, let's personalize it. And I had this stuff out today, you'll see. And so they each got chocolate caramels and a gift card. And that's their little gift. And trust me, they will enjoy their Amazon card. They both love Amazon. Now, let me move the trash out of the way. I have a couple gifts that are not quite done yet because that's how I'm rolling this year. Oh, personalized. I made two ornaments for the same cousins for their German Shepherds. So we have one for Layla and one for Journey. Um, and these are just the birch rounds. I can't package these up yet. They really need to, to cure. I put sealer on it so that they don't, um, you know, that this stuff doesn't fall off. The other thing I personalized for my family this year was this ornament and each family will get one that says 2020 stink, stank, stunk. And this was just wooden ornaments from Hobby Lobby. And this is actually iron on that I cut out with my Cricut. Oh, this was done on my Cricut. And I know not everybody has a Cricut. And if you really want to do something and you don't have a Cricut, you can go on Etsy and order. You know, people very reasonably priced. Stocking stuffer for Sarah, my niece. These are um, cord catchers for all of your electronic cords. Just kind of keeps things together keeps everything under control. And this matches her new phone case. So I grabbed her that. And I actually picked one up for me because this matches my phone and my cords are everywhere as well. So that'll go under my tree, I suppose. But I thought this was really good. And for $3 at Target, like you can't really go wrong with that. And it will do, it has a little key thing here, but it will hold all of your different chargers and cords and kind of corral them together. So I grabbed that for stocking stuffer. Um, a co-worker, I got this Ohio State mug, coffee mug, nice and sturdy and nice, right? And then some user and hand cream because who doesn't need hand cream? So that's my secret Santa gift that I need to, um, wrap still. I haven't wrapped that yet. Uh, personalization oh, for the boys. So I bought these little scarves at Michael's in the spring. And they're t-shirt material. And they have Velcro. And they're just a little collar. And these are for small dogs or cats this size. <gasps> so I cut out on my Cricut their name. So Wellington will have one. And Mr. Alexander, his full name, will have one. He had to get the longer one because he's bigger. I had to measure him out. And I'm like, okay, that this one should fit around his neck. So yeah, I bought these at uh, Michael's and I've seen them there still. They're just little pat. You could sew your own, but honestly, they were like $3 on sale. And so at that point, it's time-wise and everything, it's just easier to use that. Plus this material irons on really well. And so I cut them out and I'm not sure if you can see, but there's some sparkle. And this is for them to wear on Christmas Day. Because, well, actually Christmas Eve Day we're having here at my house. And then I'm going to Sarah's. And I wouldn't leave those on them when I leave. This is a gift I sewed for someone. I love it. I actually have the same one. I've been using it. And it's fantastic. I need to make some more for the rest of the family. Um, so I made that. And then I got this person some of these because I think it matches and these are from Target and OMG the Sherpa and they're nice and thick and they are going to keep her feet toasty warm and then they have grippers on the bottom which is nice so I grabbed these to go with this and then also to go with this I grabbed some um, Burt's Bees and this is vanilla bean chapstick and cuticle cream which is fantastic and i probably will tie that on the outside i need to get a couple more things to put in here and that's going to be a gift and i am so happy with how this turned out um 
yeah, I'm very happy. And it's very sturdy. Like I said, I've, I have one that I've been using it just to make sure. And it's fabulous. Now I made my straps a little longer, but she's a little tight. So she, hers will be perfect for her. So that's a gift that I personalized today. And then the last thing. <laughs> so we have family pajamas. These came from Target. Um, and these are mine. And I had to hem them. So that's fun. Because my legs are super short. But that's okay. And I decided we needed to have them monogrammed so in the realm of the santa claus movie we did first and last initial <laughs> i don't know if you can see it but it's green glitter so these are red black and white and then i got green glitter and then to wear with these i purchased at target these slipper socks for me and this is the faux fur and again, they have the grippers on the bottom, which is nice when you have wood floors and they're Sherpa lined. Down in here is the Sherpa and up here is that fake fur and they can be cuffed. And I love these. I think they're fantastic and they're gonna go Christmas Eve. I'll wear these. I'll wear them all the time. And the pajamas, I'm just keeping good until Christmas Eve, but then I'll wear them. I love, I love flannel pajamas. So, this is what I'm wearing. Sarah, I think, got the nightgown. I'm not sure what her mom and everybody else picked out, but I grabbed these. And I will tell you, I tried on the women's and they were just too tight, so I went with the men's and they fit. The pants are a little big. That's okay. Um, I had, That's why I hemmed them. I'm like, I can't be falling down the stairs. So we have this that I personalized today. So I think that for Christmas is all of the cricketing that I need to do to personalize things before the holiday gets started. All right, guys. Well, I hope you have a good one, and I will talk with you later. Bye.